This video is by Straight Goods News. SG News. Yeah, of course I'm dissatisfied. I mean, they missed they missed the mark on the cost of the joint support ships by uh, a long shot. It was you know 30 percent on on the uh, estimate and about 60 percent on the uh, budget envelope. And it's important, I think, to note that the the PBO was in fact, I think, uh, very charitable. They um, used the low end of the escalator. Uh, they assumed that uh, these ships would come in on time, and we know. Know that that with escalators for military procurement, the, about seven to eleven percent, that that time is the enemy of getting anything done uh, under budget or in budget. So uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a huge concern, but it's no surprise uh, that they've they've missed it again. The minister basically said that as opposed to putting more money into the program, yeah. they're willing to talk to the Navy and the Coast Guard about possibly yeah. rescoping. Given that this is the second time that these ships would have to rescope down, what is the government or what is the Navy going to end up with at the end of this process? Yeah, who knows? Uh, you know, I suggested facetiously two tugboats painted gray in, in the House today, but that's unclear because the, the uh, PBO report uh, assumed just the replacement of the protector. That's that's their that's their operating assumption for that report, and on that basis, almost by a billion dollars, uh, this government's off the mark. So, uh, to go below uh, the protector, I don't know what that gets you, but it, it gets you some some form of ship that doesn't do what it's supposed to do, and it certainly gets you some form of ship that doesn't do what the government promised uh, they would provide uh, to our navy. Where the F-35 is concerned, the government was um, unable to clearly articulate what those planes are needed for. Um, in this case, the Navy has pretty much stated quite clearly yeah. exactly what these ships are needed for. Does all of this confusion around procurement just underline the fact that we have no defense policy in this country? Yes. Well, that, that much is clear. I mean, what, what stood as a defense policy, what this government put forward as a defense policy in 2008, uh, was essentially a shopping list to recapitalize the, the uh, armed forces. Uh, and what we know now clearly is that they can't afford to do that, um, even at the price stated in the CFDS. And what is also clear is that price was uh, vastly understated. Uh, when you multiply the kinds of things, uh, understate, cost understatements that we've seen for the F-35, that we've seen for the uh, JSS, and you multiply that across the full range of capitalization, then um, it's clearly a, a fantasy document that, that exists now. And so we've had this minister in his seat for six years, and there's nothing left. This, the CFDS has come, come crumbling around him, and uh, it's an enormous indictment of incompetence, frankly, that, that after six years in that seat, there's nothing there in the way of the defense policy. So does the government just need to uh, dedicate more money to, this, to the budget, or, or, or what? I mean, if, if we're... If we're Let's say we want good fiscal austerity or yeah. good fiscal yeah. planning. Does this mean we just give more money to the military to, to buy votes? No, or well, what happens? you know, where, where we have to start is with honest, transparent government. Because one of the interesting facts that came out in the PBO report is that in 2008, this government, DND, already priced the JSS at $3 billion. And uh, interestingly, it was the very same month that that report comes out that they decide to cancel the JSS program and say that the bids were not good. Yeah, I'm not right. Th and so now here, question. well, but here we have uh, two years later they restart a program at what they and they set the budget at 2.6 billion, knowing that two years earlier it was three billion to get what they wanted. So, so the point is that until you sort that out, until you have a government that is prepared to manage its budgets and do defense policy in a mature and honest way, then it's entirely unclear how, how this government is supposed to move forward with these things. The information being is this immature and dishonest? Well, the implication is that, that this government has known for five years uh, that back in 2008 it would cost three billion dollars to to do what they said they were going to do and you apply uh, escalators to that and that comes out of probably somewhere over four billion dollars uh, so what are they telling Canadians they're telling them uh, and and still st stand in the house and tell us that they can do this for 2.6 billion and, and that is simply not true 
and you have this circus where the new associate minister stands up to talk very proudly about their record. What kind of record is that? Five years ago, uh, they knew that they couldn't buy those boats for 2.6 billion, and they're still claiming now that they can do that.